Hello everyone, welcome to DG Bytes. I am Vavav Gupta, your Alteryx expert. And today we are going to learn about blog until done tool of Alteryx and various scenarios where it can be utilized to benefit the Alteryx developers. Then why wait, let's start. must be able to see the familiar screen of all tricks. Let's drag a input tool here. Uh, I will select the file. Let's say this sales data CSV. Let's select this file. I will run this and we can see that uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns here and order data region wrap item number units unit cost so it's a sales data of a particular company of different products that they are selling which is mainly related to stationery if you can see here in the items so what we will do is let's uh, do some editing in this particular data set let's say we will combine the representative column and the region column and create another column where we can see these values together and call this column as wrap region so i will bring the representative and region so if i now run this data set so i can see that this is is combined now we, i will just add a space so that we can identify it more easily and run it so now john c is cable central so i can see this field has been added now what i will do is i will write this data back to the same csv so i will drag here the output tool we'll select this file and this is the sales csv file which i want to overwrite i will click on yes and now if i run this i am getting an error surprise surprise so what is the error says error creating the file this path the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process so the problem here is that the file from which we are reading we are writing to the same file so the reading and writing are happening at the same time and to avoid such a scenario we need some kind of a gap so that first the data has been read completely and then only this file has been written so for that we can use a special tool in all tricks which is called as block until done so if i search here block until done i can simply drag this tool here and put it between the formula and the output tool and if now i will try to run this workflow it will run successfully see and if i go and open this data set the csv file the wrap region column is here so you can see that our data has been created and updated so what we learned from this is if in a scenario where we want to write the data and read the data from the same file at the same time so in that case it is really necessary that we use to like block until done so that we can delay the processing of writing the data into the file because we want to read it completely first all other scenarios where this kind of tool or this particular tool can be utilized is suppose you want to uh, execute multiple macros uh, with the same data set so input will be the same but uh, output will be different so let's say i have macro 1 macro 2 macro 3 
and I want macro one should be completely uh, executed. Then only macro two will be executed. And after macro two is completely executed, then only macro three should be executed. So in that case, I will use macro of block until done to uh, link it with the one. So the, with the first link, I will link the macro one. With the second, I will link the macro two. And with the third, I will link the macro three. So in that way, my macro one will be executed completely. Then only it will go to macro two. Otherwise, it will get error out at macro one itself. If macro two is completely executed, then it only go to macro three. Otherwise, uh, it get error out on the macro two itself. So this is the way where block until done can be utilized and can be very beneficial where we want to control the flow of the execution of the workflow chains. If you have any questions regarding this topic, you can mention in the comment section or if you have any other ideas, please reach out to me via comments or um, mail that has been given in the description of this video. Thank you everyone for watching this video and please do subscribe our channel. Thank you.